Dude. That's a good one. I catch that four up there, I might have enough to win. Yes. Oh. Got that one for a daggum cold fish, my guy. Who's the freaking guy? Oh my god. Alright, so y'all saw the BFL from yesterday, and they are doing a makeup day because of this coronavirus pandemic. So we're doing BFLs back to back days. Today is Sunday. Unfortunately, I got a boater on boater draw. That's another, he was a boater yesterday. He counts a boater today as well. We're in my boat because his boat is torn up, but we've got it worked out. We got an agreement and he's gonna catch the three and a half pounders and I'm gonna catch the sixes. So let's go catch this. Both of us get a check and me win this sucker. So let's go. Yeah, got it. The same fish. Yep, I feel, like he'd be, I feel like he's about to die. If he's about to die, I'm not gonna put him in there because I hit his head pretty hard. I don't know, I probably shouldn't put him in there. Anyway. Can we call that fish? I know on the Bama BFLs you can, I know. What's the legal part of that? Are we allowed to do that for real? I don't know. Because if we were, like, I would have gave you that one. That's a bigger one right there, dude. That's a good one. That's a good one. Dude. It ain't no five pounder, but like it was a three or, or bigger. Try to find them deep, but might end up with doing what you're doing. It is a big It's a real big Yeah. 
I'm moving there. I, I missed him yesterday. I missed him twice yesterday. How much do I freaking got? Oh my god. <laughs> do I got 16? Probably. You think so? You got scale on them? I do. Like, I don't know, man. Well, it's gotta be, don't it? It's another five. Dude, it's gotta be. At least. Six or seven. I got a 16. Boy, dude. Dude, I'm like, I still gotta catch, I need to catch a six. But then we, we gotta get you some two and a half. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, yeah. It ain't thumbs downable. It's like 14, 15 pounds. Yeah. the terminal my three fish that I caught actually came on those two frogs and I got that trophy so I've been fishing the BFLs for a while now I think I have fished like 20 I think I ha I think the actual number was this was my 22nd BFL never won one been close to winning one was really close to winning a regional made it to the All-American had some good times in AOI but the, I've never won one and you know I've won the ABA open series and stuff like that but I've never won a BFL 
and the main reason for that is I don't have a home lake that they come to where I'm a big favorite on the lake. I, I literally do not have a home lake that big tournaments come to that I'm really, really good on. So you you fall is like an hour and 10 minutes away from my house. So where I grew up anyways, I don't really live there now, but where I grew up, fish there a good bit, but never this time of year, like I said, a lot last week for the Elite Series. And if a lot of y'all did follow the Bassmaster Elite Series that was going to, on in you fall last week, you know that a majority of the fish that were caught were caught offshore, mainly out of the brush piles and then some out of the ledges. Well, what I found for me was the biggest fish, the biggest bites that I had every single day came shallow. So in the in the Bass Master tournament, I had two six pounders bite shallow, two or three more four and a half to five pounders that I caught shallow, and then at the brush piles it was mainly a two and a half to three and a half pounder deal. And every once in a while you would catch a, a really big one because it is isolated wood that the big ones do get on. But for the most part, it was two and a half to three and a half pounders out there in those brush piles. So you can see I ran around early, around brim beds and you know isolated grass stuff like that with a frog and ended up getting three big bites in the first hour and a half or so. So after that, instead of going to fish a ton of brush piles like I normally would have if it was a five fish tournament or something like that, I really still try to fish shallow. I try to fish a little bit better isolated brush piles that you know I didn't really feel like I was going to catch a six pounder out of a brush pile and I really needed a six pounder to cull. So I still try to fish shallow a lot. But I did mix in some brush piles, caught another four pounder out of it. So I think a five fish limit, I probably had somewhere in 23 to 24 pound, you know, bag with the fish that I caught. But I obviously would have fished a little bit differently being if it was a five fish tournament. But anyways, finally got me a BFL win. Took me a while and hopefully many more to come of those and maybe some little bit bigger bluer trophies to come in the near future. But me and Hunter's getting ready to head to New York. So hit that subscribe button. New York tournaments are on. They're going. Cayuga is going to be fun. St. Lawrence River is going to be fun. going to be a lot different for me. So we'll go up there and maybe not swing for the fence. We'll try to lay down a bun or two at them small mouth places and try to really, really catch them at the large mouth places. So hit that subscribe button. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun for me. Got a boat on boat draw. First time I've ever had to fish with another boater in a BFL. So basically, he had his boat there. I had my boat there. He fished out of his boat the first day. Then on day two, we accidentally got paired together. So we talked it out and he ended up having like 11 and a half pounds because I was really sharing a lot of the brush piles I was fishing with him because that was the agreement we made. If he would let me go run around in my shallow fish and really try to win this tournament, I would put him on some of my really good brush piles and let him catch some fish to do good in points. So he ended up having like 11 and a half pounds with three fish, pretty dang good, and uh, got a good check. I think he had a top 10 in it too. I think he came in around seventh or eighth place. Super cool dude though, really enjoyed the day on the boat with him and we had a good time. Both of us caught a fish, both of us got a check. So it's all good. And I hope y'all will hit that subscribe button because the video is going to be good. Go to New York. We're going to bust them. I will see y'all next time.